Good morning. This is David Kurt from TechRecipes.com. This morning I'm going to demonstrate how to use the QuickTime Pro Player to remove those annoying black bars from the sides of video clips. The technique to cover unused screen with black is called window boxing and is frequently used to preserve aspect ratios when changing video formats. Let me show you some examples from Apple.com's website. This is letterboxing. Letterboxing places these black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen and is used to display wide screen format on a standard size screen. Pillar boxing, in contrast, puts black bars on the left and the right of the screen and is typically used to display standard size format on wide screens. While these techniques are good compromises on maybe a television screen, often on a computer system these black bars are annoying. Removing or cropping these black bars typically require expensive video editing software plugins. However, today I'm going to show you a simple way to do this using the inexpensive software QuickTime Pro. To show you this example, I'm going to use a rough draft of my cam twist video. You can see when I was switching formats and aspect ratios that I've gained the pillar boxing on each side. What I'll do in my QuickTime player is edit copy, which will basically copy the screen that you currently see from your QuickTime player. Then in Photoshop, or really any imaging editing program, I'm going to do a new image, paste it in, and you can see this is a copy from my QuickTime player. I'm going to select the area that I don't want, basically everything that's in black, and I'm going to fill that with white. Now what we're basically doing is using a mask which is going to tell the QuickTime Pro, QuickTime Pro player what to keep and what not to keep. So what I don't want is in white. What I do want will be in black. So I'm going to select the inverse. I'm going to edit, fill, and fill it with black. Boom. Now basically I have a complete mask of what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. I'm going to save this as a GIF file. File, save for web and devices as a GIF. I only want two colors, black and white. Save and name it whatever you want. Mask. Now we're doing Photoshop. Now in our QuickTime player, We're going to show movie properties. And for the video track, see, here's a selection with mask. So we're going to drop in the mask. And immediately, you can see the difference here. So here I'll do it again so we can do it side by side. I'll clear it. And you can see it's got the letter boxes again. And now once I drop the mask in, it's completely gone. And we've removed all that window boxing. And now to save this, all I need to do is file and export and export it however you typically would. So basically what we've done is by using the inexpensive software QuickTime Pro and a mask, we've removed the window boxing from the video and gone from this, which would not look very good on YouTube at all, to a finely cropped screencast ready for uploading. Thanks.